Hey everybody, it's Rob with Cherry City Guns and Ammo, and today we're going to be shooting this Henry lever action in 44 Magnum. Stick around. Alright, so we've got another Henry lever action. Uh, you know, between me and my buddy who, who owns the property where I do my videos here, videos here, we've become pretty enamored with these uh, Henry lever guns. You know, they shoot accurate, they're a lot of fun. And so this is his newest acquisition. Uh, it is a 16 inch barrel carbine in steel, and it does have the large lever. And he actually came topped with this uh, Nikon BDC scope. Um, we haven't really dialed it in, but we've shot a few at, at, at distance to kind of see somewhat how on it is. So we'll take some long range shots, long-ish range shots and see how it does. But, you know, let's, uh, let's put some more paint up here, up close. Let's go over and hit our, our uh, plate rack there. Let's start off the little guy. And the little guy disappeared. So, uh, yeah, that's a pretty small target. That 44 sure rocked him. Missed that one. And that one came off now. I really need to get some better hangers for my steel plates. Um, they've done fine with like 9 mil and stuff, but obviously uh, Magnum coming out of this long barrel uh, was a little more than that nylon rope could handle. Let's knock the rest of them off if we can. Why not? Our hostage popper is hiding, but we'll shoot the silhouette and see if we can get him to stick his head out. Come on, hostage. And we're empty. All right. Let's get her loaded back up. You know, like I said, between the two of us, we have become pretty enamored with these Henry rifles. And, I mean, for so many reasons. Um, aesthetically, they are gorgeous. I mean, they use some really nice premium pieces of walnut for the stock. The bluing is nice and deep and rich. The machining seems to be really nice. And so far, other ones that we've tried, they're all really good shooters. Shoot really accurately. Um, they've got enough weight that they're good about helping to tame the recoil, even on like this 44 Magnum. Uh, yet at the same time, it's not so heavy that it'd be cumbersome if you wanted to actually carry one for hunting. And I think this would be a great, you know, Western Oregon uh, brush deer rifle. Because um, a lot of our shots, unless you're like in a clear cut, a lot of our shots are up pretty close because we live in an area that's rather thick when it comes to uh, uh, brush and whatnot. So lots of times you have short distance shots that you got to make rather quick. And I mean, what fits the bill better than, than a lever gun? Let's see if we can maybe make that hostage popper stick out. I'm gonna shoot, try to shoot the bottom of the silhouette and make it right. There we go. All right, let's hit our hostage popper. Shot a little high. <laughs> I'm sure the silhouette's fine. I think I just knocked it off the hanger there. Let's hit this hostage popper anyway. Okay, apparently that's too small. I'm hitting high or something. <laughs> All right, let's go fix that, and we'll we'll come right back. All right, we're gonna take it out to 60 yards and see how much we can. Uh, beat up on the 60 yard steel. What's at the uh, plate? <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. This seems to be shooting just a skosh high. We might have to mess with the scope a little bit. Let's go back up close. We'll, we'll get the scope dialed in for another video. All right, we're gonna do a couple more up close shots here. Let's see how hard we can, can rack that, uh, that little plate there. And on that shep shepherd's hook, it bounces and pops all over the place. Let's hit our little uh, spinner. 
that spins it rather well. Let's, uh, let's try for our hostage popper. It flipped it all the way one side and back. That kind of hit the edge and hit them both. <laughs> you know, I have shot that silhouette with a lot of stuff, um, a lot of rather hard hitting stuff, and it has never fallen off the hanger before. And now we've only shot it a couple of times with this 44, and both times it's knocked it down. Um, I think that really kind of is a testament to how hard a 44 mag is hitting out of a 16 inch barrel. You know, 44 mag hits really, really hard out of a pistol barrel. But out of the 16 inch rifle barrel, I think it's, it's really, really cooking. And we're gonna have a video coming up fairly soon where we're really gonna show the difference between a really short 44 mag barrel, a medium length 44 mag barrel, and then a carbine length. And you'll really be able to see, and we'll do the math to figure out the kinetic energy and all that kind of stuff. You'll really see the difference that uh, barrel length has, especially when you're talking about these like Magnum pistol calibers. It really is a huge difference. It's, it's incredibly different. Uh, but let's, uh, let's shoot some more of the stuff that we haven't killed yet and maybe we'll kill it too. Let's hit the, hit, hit the plate up there again. Uh, let's hit this small one on the chain, see if we can wrap it. Yep, we wrapped it. I don't think we're going to do the big one because it's too heavy. It's not going to wrap. It's got too much weight. I knew that, that smaller one, we'd wrap it around the top pretty easy. We're almost out of rounds here. But all I can say is I am super, super impressed with how hard this 44 is hitting out of this 16 inch barrel. And I just accidentally touched the, uh, the barrel with my finger and I may have a new branding because it is freaking hot. It's hot, damn hot, real hot. Let's hit the plates on our, on our rack over there. Man, it hits them so stinking hard, it's unreal. You know, I did this very similar video with the 41 mag just a couple weeks ago. And I was impressed by how hard the 41 mag was hitting them. But it's nothing compared to this. Got just maybe one more left. And we knocked another plate off. That is awesome. And I just got hit in the foot by the head of the bolt. That 44 Magnum broke the head off the bolt that was holding that steel plate on and sent that head of that bolt all the way back over to me and hit me in the foot. Uh, holy crap. <laughs> now we got to fix those before we can do another video. But I'm floored. I am absolutely floored. This thing is just, I mean, it's a freaking sledgehammer. You put 44s out of that length barrel and it's just unfreaking real. Uh, so that was really cool. Anyway, I think we're gonna finish there. I think we've now broken enough stuff that we can call this a completed video. Uh, but thanks for a lot for watching. Thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. Uh, if you'd like to help uh, support the channel, if you look down in the description below, you'll see a link to my Patreon. You'll also see a link to my new Axle earbuds. We're gonna do a video just on the earbuds, but I'm using these new Axle Bluetooth earbuds. Um, if you use my link, I actually get a small commission for the sale of them. So that could be a great way to, one, help support the channel. Number two, get yourself a great pair of hearing protection. Um, this is, this today, I'm doing several videos today, but today is the first time I've actually used them and I'm really enjoying them. They do a great job of cutting out the sound. At the same time, um, I can hear everything really, really well. And when I'm talking to the camera, I'm not yelling because I've got rolled up foam earplugs in like I normally do. So hopefully that'll help make a little better video for you guys that are watching. Anyway, thanks a lot, and we will see you guys on the next video. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Cherry City Guns and Ammo, and today we're gonna shoot this Henry Start Over. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Cherry City.